Hello everyone, I'm Spencer Brinkerhoff III and I'm going to be recording this video uh, live. So uh, <laughs> what you see is what you get. Uh, I hope that I do a good job. Um, I'll start by showing you some behind the scenes sketches of how I develop the characters for my new book and show you my drawing is simple step by step process. I'll briefly introduce you to my drawing is simple coin and then you can follow along with me as I draw Captain Jinx Taggett. Welcome to the Cordo Classroom. For this class, what we'd like to do today is draw on one of these characters. So this is my new book, uh, You Can Draw Comic Book Characters. It's been published by uh, Cordo, which is Walter Foster Jr. I'm completely excited to be part of the, their family and part of uh, drawing this book. One of the challenges of it is that they wanted me to come up with all original characters. So that means that I sat down and it's all about superheroes, how to draw superheroes, and how to you know make your own stories, but couldn't use any uh, licensed characters. So I had to invent my own characters. So this is Captain Jinx Taggett. And what I wanted to do is go to our overhead screen so I can show you a couple of my sketches that I use just to start things out. So when I first started drawing these characters, I didn't know who they were going to be, what their styles were going to be. I was thinking of Fantastic Four, maybe something like Lost in Space, maybe a brother and a sister team up, a duo there that we could do. Uh, and, and I started to play with the different characters and that's when I came up with this character here, Jinx. So I'm very happy with the way that she turned out. I've got some action poses that I want to, to work on and show you guys as well. Um, one of the things I was thinking about how to make this team, and you can see the small sketches here. <coughs> <coughs> see? Live. <coughs> Live. So I start out with a, a small thumbnail sketch, and then from there we'll just get to drawing. So I wanted to show you a little bit about my process for going through this. I'll put down my coin. I'll come down a little bit closer here so you can see what's going on. And I might come in a little bit closer still. Um, sorry about the adjustment there. So the first thing I do is just to get things kicking and get things started. I'll put my coin down and I'll do a quick circle around the coin, holding it in place. And I'll just go ahead and mark all of the guides around the coin so you can see how this might work to help you out as well. So here we are, we have our drawings, we have our center line right down the middle, then we have our center line across here, and then we can also see that there's other lines here that end up making this grid pattern all the way across the face. I'm not drawing perfect, and that's fine, because none of us draw perfect. Now, if you take and do this little exercise here, you take your thumb and you put it on the bottom of your ear, and you put your uh, index finger on the top. I'll take my glasses off for this. If you take and hold your fingers here and you rotate straight across, you'll see that your eye and your nose kind of line up with each other just like that. And that's the same thing that we're doing on our drawing table here. So we're gonna make our eyes and ears line up. So we're gonna draw a letter C on this side, just like that. We're gonna draw a letter D on this side. And then right here in the middle is where we're gonna put our eyes. And that's how we start drawing our character. Literally, um, all of the characters that are in this book, I started them all out by drawing just like this. Uh, sketch something out, come in here, you know, I don't know, put this coin back down here, mark our center lines and around. And just real quick, you can see that the body is taking shape just like that. So now what we're going to do is just I show you a, a quick overview. I want to take and pause that one, grab a new piece of paper, and instead of a pen, I'll get a pencil because we are going to completely draw this character out, get it nice and colored, rotate it around. Let me rotate my camera slightly. All right. So now we're going to draw Captain Jinx Taggett. And the way that we're going to do this is just above here in our clipboard, our clipboard will show our step-by-steps and we'll go through there and make sure that we're following it all together. So we start out with our coin um, and uh, I'm looking to see if I have a quarter around here. 
If you don't have one of the Drawing is Simple coins, um, you, can, you can get one online at drawingissimple.com, but you can use a quarter, you can use um, a euro, you can use any circle shape that you have. It just the key for me is to make sure that you know where your center lines are. And so knowing your center lines, it makes it a lot easier if you have a coin. So let's look above and we can see that we're going to start by drawing our full circle all the way around. And then before we move the coin out of the way, we'll look again at our guidelines and we see that we're going to mark those three guidelines across the top, one, two, three. And then I'm looking up, we'll mark the middle line and then just below and that will be for our ears alignment. And then these three across the bottom, oh, move the coin a little bit, across the bottom will help us line up for our next drawing. So now that we have that in place very lightly, I'm going to draw the center line right down the middle. And I, and I say I draw this very lightly because I'm going to erase these lines. These lines are, you know, guidelines. So we'll do this across here as well, center lines, to make sure that we get everything all lined up. Now we'll go to our next step and that'll be to put those eyes and the ears and see how they all align across there. So we're going to draw the letter C and connect those two dots together. We're going to draw a capital D. We're going to draw those lines together. And then right there in the center, we're going to draw our eyes. Now something that is a little bit different about uh, Jinx is we want to make sure that she's got a little bit of um, an eyelash that's going on here. So we'll take this line and we'll kind of just come up a little bit, up like this. Just three little extra lines there and we'll fill those in a little bit more when we're drawing uh, with our ink pen to finish it all off. We'll have Jinx looking off to the right hand side, which is uh, her left, and then a little confident smile there. Onto our next step, we're gonna take and start to make her hair. Again, we have the guidelines at the top that will help us connect things together. We'll start all the way up at the upper right hand side. Uh, yeah, that's the right. Sometimes they get a little bit flipped back and forth. So we'll come here and instead of connecting directly to our second line here, we're gonna come off to the distance a little bit and we'll come in and around and stop right about there. And then we're gonna connect those down and swoop right down into the line where her ear goes. Now this is a simplified form to make sure that we can really see the steps and follow along and make sure that it works. You don't want to have a lot of connecting lines when you're drawing a more detailed character, but this, this works for us. Again, stop starting at that right hand line, we're going to make her hair part and we're going to come down and connect with the top of her hair. We'll come up and over that top circle and down and we'll notice that we've uh, gone ahead and erased those center lines. So very lightly, I'm going to come in here and wipe those ones out wipe those ones out and I, I've wiped out part of my eyelashes a little bit but that's okay because I'm going to come back through when I finish it all up and I'm going to trace back over the top of those with an ink pen so it's nice and dark. Let's look at our next step. Now Jinx has these braids on either side and my brother and I used to play a, a game where we would make our own mazes and what we would do is we would make these shapes that look like her braids. They also kind of look like intestines, but that's a whole nother, a whole nother story. Ready? So this is what we're going to do. Remember, simple shapes. We're going to draw a letter C and then a letter D and we'll alternate those like this. So we keep on drawing. So ready? We'll start here and we'll draw a letter C, a very lazy C, and then we'll draw a big capital D without the back on it. We'll go back and forth with that a couple of times to make her braids and then back and forth on this side a couple of times to make her braids. Now I'm not counting to find out that the number of braids that I have on my drawing is exactly the one in the instructions. I'm just making the braids. I, you can see that, uh, that the, right si uh, the left side is longer than the right side so that's okay too. Now to draw her body, we're going to go ahead and bring our coin back into our image, line up this top line here with the guideline that we put, 
mark that there. And instead of drawing that full circle, we'll mark the right side, we'll mark the left side, and then we'll mark these three lines across the bottom. And then we'll move this out of the way so that we can continue drawing Captain Jinx tag it. Look, she's got her little name right there as well. Now, what, like what we did with Luke Skywalker, we're going to make a basic box. And if you imagine right here, these kind of connect down together. We're not actually going to draw those. We don't need to put those in there. But this one right here is what her waistline is going to be. And those kind of connect. So I'll draw a light line there. And just inside of these dots here, I'm going to start there and come down and stop right at that middle line, just inside the dash and across to the middle line. And there is our first shape for her torso. Next thing we're going to do is, is take that and continue down to her feet. One of the things that I like to do is I'll go ahead and connect these lines all the way across to make that. And you can see that, uh, right up above that that's where her toes are going to be. So we'll go ahead and come in for the toes a little bit there and then make a diagonal line coming down and there that connects. And there is the beginnings of her legs. We'll start with her belt buckle right in the center there and it's just a simple circle. And then two circles on uh, one circle on either side to make two more circles for the belt. We're going to draw a little letter V just below that circle. Remember, simple shapes make complicated shapes. So we're going to use that and then connect this straight down. And now she's got two legs. See, it's already coming together. Now, something else you'll notice about my drawing above on the instructions is that I've been erasing a little bit as I go. So these little guidelines that I've had in here and this one across the top are now eliminated. Let's take a moment and we'll wipe those out a little bit. Doesn't have to be perfect. Get those out, get those out, and there she is. She's coming together just fine. Oh, missed that one. All right, let's look at our next step. Now to make her hands, again, this is a very simple drawing. We don't want to get overly complicated. We're going to go ahead and draw one circle on either side of her hips. One on this side, one on this side. Just nice, gentle, easy. I sound like Bob Ross for a second. Just gentle little circles. And then we'll take the line and connect right up next to her neck and right along where her torso ends. Now that we have her basic body designed, we'll erase a little bit of this center line here for where her, uh, where her belt is and we'll start to add some of the details of her costume. To make these lightning bolts, I'm going to make the outside line first, zigzag down, and then follow that, only that last one comes to a point, zigzag in, I had to look at my reference to make sure I was drawing it the right way. And then the next bit of detail that we're going to work on are her boots. And she's got a couple of different stripes here. So what we're going to do is we're going to just take and make angled lines here like this. And then how many are there? Does it matter? She's got three lines at the bottom and then one, two across here. And there's a good symmetry meaning that we're mirroring what's on the right will also be on the left and that way it's the same drawing. And then we'll put on her uh, some lines for her wrist bands. One, two, three on the sides. And this is Captain Jinx tag it. Now I've got a couple of different markers here. Um, these are Prismacolors. I've had these ones for a long time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and color in uh, Jinx. I'm going to erase a couple more little lines here and get this brushed up a little bit. And then I'm going to take and I'll start with the markers. So one of the things I like to do is I'll start with a number five micron pen and then I'll come back in and make some extra outlines with a number eight micron pen. So this will give us two variable lines and what it ends up doing is creating a little bit of dimensionality in it. 
Now remember I talked about on those eyes that we were going to make some eyelashes. Really, the pen helps to do a lot of that work for you by making that line work. I'm gonna do another extra line there. And then when I draw her eyes, I'm gonna start with the outline of the eye and then I'll leave a little spot there for a highlight. Um, when you have that highlight in there, it ends up making your eyes have a little bit of a sparkle to them, a little bit more natural. And if they're solid black, they can get, you know, a little creepy too, which we, we don't want. Captain Jinx is happy. Now, one of the things about, about Captain Jinx Taggett is that her name, well, you know, she, her name is Jinx. She's not actually a Jinx. Now, if you guys don't know exactly what a Jinx is, a Jinx is a person or something that is considered to be unlucky. So always the bad thing happens, and, and quite the opposite, uh, Captain Jinx is quite lucky. One day, uh, she was working with her dad. Well, her dad is a crop duster. She, he flies planes, and so does, so does Captain Jinx. And that's where she got her captain title was from being a pilot. But she was out flying, crop dusting, and she noticed a uh, meteor had crashed. And uh, she went to investigate it, and when she did, she got zapped. And she ends up with these powers. She doesn't understand all of her powers. She does not understand all of her powers or what exactly she can do. But as she learns new powers, she has to learn how to control them. She has to learn what they do. She has to figure out, you know, who she's going to be. And that's part of her story. One of the things that's also fun about the new drawing book is that as you learn how to draw these characters, you'll learn a little bit about their backstory. You'll learn a little bit about uh, who they are, their powers, their strengths, their weaknesses, and then you will be able to come up with and write your own stories. We'll teach you how to draw, teach you how to write, and teach you how to do some word bubbles and put it all together to make your own comic strip. Throw in those lines there. And like I said before, oh, I kind of missed a line. That's all right. I'm going to take that uh, number eight micron pen now. Uh, well, it's bothering me. I'll just do that really quick. Now, this one is a little bit thicker, so I'm going to come in around the bottom of her face, around her chin, and that thicker line helps make a distinguishing line between her face and the rest of her body. It also makes for a nice outline line. So I'll go ahead and trace around there. Help her stand off from the page a little bit. And then we'll give this a moment as well to dry up so that we'll get some color from here too. Jinx is one of, I don't know, uh, I, over 25? Uh, I had to invent all of these new characters. I almost lost track of them. But what I want to do here is tell you that this character, this pose, is what I call uh, a level one pose. It's very simplistic. It's, uh, it's just a straight on view and it has that nice symmetry to it. And what this does is it makes it very easy for us to learn how the character looks and how they, you know, their costume works and all that stuff. And then we can come in and I'll show this to you real quick. We'll do some other instructions and we'll get Jinx in uh, a more action pose. You know, once we know how her, uh, her outfit, how her ha hair looks and her style, um, then we can actually draw some, uh, some more action poses. So I'm going to start in here with the lighter colors. It's always easier to start light and then go back over with dark colors because, you know, when you try the opposite, you get into trouble. You see that right here on, on her ear? The, um, the black from the outline kind of picked up a little bit and uh, 
add a little bit of tint to that. And that's why the end of my marker is also black. So now that we've got some face, facial tones in there, we'll add some yellow hair color. I, uh, I specifically chose this color yellow. It's a little bit brighter than we have in our uh, instructions up ahead, up above. And that's just because I want it to uh, pop off the page a little bit more. Yellow is done. I think what I'll do now is hit this green and we'll get some lightning bolts colored in here. And I don't know how well you can see that, but I'm not exactly coloring in the lines. That's okay. It's my drawing. It's just fun. And then we'll make those stripes on her arms. And then, how did I color those? Oh, gotcha. The feet are green. And then these other lines come in for some accents. Put that one away, grab our orange color. Oh, another one of the markers wanted to join in on the fun. Now, if you don't have these markers, that's fine. You can use colored pencils. You can leave it completely uh, black and white. You can use uh, just a normal pencil and do some light shading with it that way. I'm just trying to touch right around up close to those other colors without coloring into the green too much. It might happen a little bit here and there. Yeah, right on cue, I made it happen. The last thing that I wanna do is I'm gonna take and color, uh, I've got this, this gray and it's a cool gray, it's 20%. And by doing this, I can take and add a little bit of shading around in different spaces. Look at that, it just ran right down that side. A little in here, under the chin a little bit, on the hands, and then right underneath. And there we have it. Oh wait, it's not completely done until of course you've signed your artwork. So be sure and put your name on it as well. All right, and that's it. And a uh, quick side note on that. Um, I uh, learned to draw uh, with some of the Walter Foster books when I was a kid, so I am absolutely thrilled to be part of them and part of this uh, opportunity. So this is a phase one drawing of Jinx Taggett. Next time we'll draw her in a more dynamic action pose. Thanks for watching. You can purchase, you can draw comic book characters wherever books are sold, and please, Share your drawings on social media by tagging me at SpencerB3 and using the hashtags drawing is simple and Cordo Classroom.